Hey everybody, I'm Cody from Alabast Gaming, and today I'm playing The House, another indie horror game just to see. It's supposed to be something pretty quick. Um, chances are I'm going to get the crap scared out of me. Uh, I don't know what else to expect from it. So let's go ahead and get started, see how it goes. It just froze. Oh, there it goes. I don't often see a prologue in these horror games. Okay. This studio's oh okay we're we're actually getting the opening credits rolling. I thought it was just gonna be uh, like somebody tells a story as we drive through the woods. The house. Or is that is that the house? Oh no! Day one. Are you prepared? Oh what? Hello, buddy friend. <laughs> Look at his arm go! He is writing vigorously. I, I too, oh, whenever I, I write, have go. Have some peace. I have rented this house so I could escape from work and my family. They were driving me crazy. I knew renting this house was a good idea. Although it is kind of creepy, but I'll get used to it. I hope. Apparently, some old couple lived here, but they moved out put a really good price on it so I guess I was kind of lucky they they moved out so are they renting it to you oh okay I thought there was more to that hello I believe I'm in the middle of the woods so who is knocking on my door okay hello all right we're waking up now all right can I can I get out of bed I can turn whoa Press. Okay, I couldn't tell it was E or F. Oh, Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Couldn't tell it was E or F with that font they used. Alright, well. Is there supposed to be a shadow over there? Can I get out of bed? Whoa. What was that? Was that my window? Or is that a nightstand? No? Okay. Or was that. What is that? I can't tell what that is. Is that a door? Uh, don't mind me. Seems it doesn't matter if I turn the flashlight off or on. It's just gonna keep dying regardless. God. Oh, oh, oh God. All right. Hello, friendo. Day two. That was it. I. I. The, the night lasted all of a minute. This guy with his uh, throwing it down riding style. Last night was really weird. I heard someone knocking on my door, but I figured it must be the wind. Then my light bulb got fried, and I have to buy a new one, I guess. This guy just doesn't care. For some reason, there is no phone or internet service today. Wind probably knocked some telephone poles. I hope it gets fixed. <laughs> he just doesn't care. He doesn't care about any of this. A guy walked and stood up right in front of his bed. He's like, my internet's out. My life is over. Actually, yeah, I, I can, I can relate to that. All right, are we awake now. We didn't bother to get a flash or a. We didn't bother to that? get a light bulb. What? Is that blood? Is that blood? Maybe I should get out of bed and check. But I'm just gonna lay here very, very calmly. Because I can't even be bothered to change a light bulb, let alone, you know. Check for frickin' blood. Okay, I get it. Hello? Is Who's someone the there? What is that? Is that my luggage? Whoa! Nope. Oh, Teddy's eyes are gone. Why would they get rid of Teddy's eyes? All right. Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to actually be conserving my battery or if it's just. Oh, hello. I changed that. I kept that light bulb going. Why wouldn't I just bring a light bulb from there into my... Oh. No. 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 <laughs> no. No. Uh, <laughs> as he power walks in. And he's still okay. There was something weird going on. Last night, I had a nightmare and some creature attacked me. But when I woke up, the blood was still on the window and on the floor. I don't know. 
I think I might not be alone here. Luckily, electricity is back, but the phone service is still gone. If something like this happens this night, I'm leaving. That's nothing like what it's written in the book. It says there's something weird going on last night with some strange noise opening up. I saw blood underneath my window and at the door. I think I might not be alone here. Luckily, electricity is back. The phone service is still gone. If something like this happens this night, I'm leaving. I would leave now. I've had a dude pop up in my room twice now, and apparently last night he strangled me to sleep. It's like, go to sleep, little darling. Like, I have a left. I'm not into that shit. I'm not that kinky. All right, there we go. I, oh, I didn't even bother to lay down this time. And this, Oh, I'm standing! Oh! Where's my flashlight? Holy crap! This was a development I wasn't prepared for. Heat and rack. But, okay, good, I have it. And it just radiates out of my eyes. Sweet action. Oh, there's, there's, like, legit free roam in this. Can I, can I have that? Thank you. Hello, Teddy. You're coming with me. Well, okay, I guess I'm not leaving. I was, that is my luggage. I was right. All right, luggage, you're going to go down here and break my fall. Well, okay. Or I'm going to break my own fall. What the fuck is going on here? Is that me? Was that me? <laughs> what the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> this luggage is assaulting me. I don't even know what's happening enough to be scared. What is this? I'm gonna go to the left. Apparently I didn't bother to check my closet to make sure I wasn't, you know, sleeping above the French catacombs. Uh, I'm just gonna keep turning left. Because I remember that, that rule. If you go in a maze, just keep going to the left or keep going to the right. Like, as long as... Oh, now I'm suddenly out of breath? As soon as I enter this creepy room? Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. Are you fucking kidding me? They included a Markiplier room. Well, that's, uh... That's an Easter egg I did not intend to see that scared the fuck out of me. Thank you for that, Markiplier. Oh, great. Now my light's gone. And I didn't even get the chance to get any batteries. Well, it's just uh, this is this is really great. This is great. Happy birthday, you ladies! My name is Jack Septico. Is this fucking Easter eggs the game? God damn! Maybe the whole go left the whole time doesn't work thing. All right, let's just keep going. How do I? Oh, I, I reloaded. Sweet ass. All right, let's just keep going. What's next? Are we going to run into a door? I need a key card. Yes. That's totally what I would have expected from these haunted catacombs. Why did I not think of that? What is that? Is that something? Somebody? Is that more Easter eggs? Well, fuck me. Something tells me I'm dead. I can... I, I have... Oh, fuck me. I have a very irregular heartbeat. You are dead. Not a big surprise. Oh, I'm, I'm back. All right, let's try this again. This time I'm not even going to waste it. Where's the bear? He's coming with me this time. Come on, Barry! Come on, Barry! What the fuck? Okay, well, I'm dead. Can I turn around and look into my own face again? Oh my god, that is haunting! <laughs> that is that is the scariest thing in this game, is accidentally turning around and seeing my own face. Alright, I guess let's go to the right this time. See what Easter eggs I come across now. Maybe I should just walk. Nope, saw a spot, saw a shiny body there. Just gonna ignore that one. Let's just uh, let's just keep going along here, trucking right along. We'll just ignore those things even existed, and that will make my life all the better. That's the way you solve your problems. You just ignore them until they eventually cause you even more. 
That's the Alabas Gaming Way. Is there some is there some reason for that noise? I thought that was a warning that they're near me, but it seems to just be happening all the time. Okay. All right. We're just going to walk through the creepy tunnels of mystery and death. And I am at a dead end. Well, tickle my biscuits. Jolly my Roger. Just going to keep going along. Hopefully finding a key card. Not dying horribly. I love these games where they have a Halloween track on repeat as you're going. Because it sounds like that breath noise I hear on like every Halloween. <laughs> Fuck me and I can't see. I can't see. Fuck me. Did I get away? Am I okay now? Who even knows? Who knows? Not me. I am just walking in catacombs that are under my house for some reason. I wonder if I turn off my flashlight. Do they still shine? They do. Their eyes shine. Listen to my crazy ass heart have crane, like strange palpitations as I lose my goddamn mind. And I have yet to get the ability to pick up any flashlight batteries. I don't know if I've just been overlooking them or what. Just don't mind me. I can't see shit. Pretty sure this led to a bad guy. Let's just hope. I don't... I, I didn't even see anything. I just heard my heart and then I was dead. No, I'm not doing it again. That's enough. I'm stopping here. This is where I draw the line. This is where I'm going to stop. Because I didn't see the key card anywhere. Everywhere I went, I kept running into those guys. And I can't find any batteries. Like, I'll do a quick I'll do a quick check. Just fucking freaked out. And this is my life now. This this is my life. I cannot I cannot step off this chair. It's my life now. I am stuck in a realm of slight elevation. Well, I think this I think this surmises my playthrough. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave us a like and tell a friend so they can enjoy it as well. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. And I'll put some annotations inside of some other videos we've done. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! We're going to avoid the mines altogether. We're going to avoid the mines altogether. Why did I leave this on? Fuck me!